Yo guys and welcome back to Luke's blog channel. This is a review of the Aston Villa vs Leicester game yesterday. Now a few things. We got beat 4-1 against Leicester and we played we did play well to an to an extent and but we had a bit injury problems, we got Tauramings going off and uh, yeah, it, and uh, Bjorn Engels had to come on for Toro Mings and it went from there really. Where I mean, Bjorn, Eng don't get me wrong, Bjorn Engels is a brilliant player, but you know, we go 1 0 down and then and then. 2-0 and then we get one back before just be all our time and then let's go on to get us to get a third and then a fourth and but let's look at the team sheet T Tommy and in goal not a problem with him Konza uh, Konza is you know we haven't seen much of him play this season but he he's not a type of defender that I'd see that I'd like seeing alongside Toro Mings, you know. You know, uh, I mean Con's like we got him from Brentford. Yeah. Dean Swift brought him in, but don't me get me wrong, Con's in in the friendlies he was good. But this is the Premier League we're talking about. This is not some kind of. Uh, it's not some kind of uh, contest, you know. It's it's a it's the Premier League we're talking about here. It's not a pop proper proper. I can't say the word, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know, I mean we're Aston Villa. We are Aston Villa, and we we want to get good results. But that yesterday was just absolutely awful. We were awful yesterday. We should have played better, but you know, Dean Smith's playing like some the wrong players. We should have played Conor Hurahan. You know, we should have played Conor Hurahan. Conor Hurahan's a brilliant player, you know. He, he, he's shown it. He's shown it in the Championship. He's a brilliant player, Conor Hurahan. John McGinn. He had a very, very quiet game yesterday, you know. You know, it's not like John McGinn to have a quiet game. Wesley, 22 mil, million. And he's not, he's only scored like three, four goals this season. He's never going to be a, a Christian Benteke or a John Carew or Gabby Abonahal. He's not going to be that type of striker. He needs to... He needs to be in the box. Yesterday, he, he wasn't in the box. Yesterday, he was not in the box when, where we wanted him. He was, he was like, in the midfield. Like, what is he doing? Wesley is an awful striker. We need a new striker in, the, in January. We really do. Because otherwise, if we don't get a new striker, we're going we're gonna to be struggling for goals, and we are at the moment. Because... Jack Grealish, yeah, he's a brilliant player. Don't get me wrong. I love Jack Grealish. He's a really, really cracking player. But, you know, we can't just rely on our midfield to score the goals. We need a striker. Yeah, Wesley scored three, four goals this season. But he's not he's not a top, top striker. He's, he's, he's terrible. He really is terrible. He's like... We got him from Club Bruges. I knew the flipping out of eh? You know, yeah, they're in the champ yeah, they they qualified for Champions League like last year and they've qualified for this time. But who pays twenty two mil for a striker? You know, if you pay twenty two mil for a striker, you expect them to score like ten, twenty goals a season. But Wesley, he's only scored three, four goals this season. And you know, you know, you expect a £22 million 
£100 a striker to do better than Wesley. But we expected him to do better, but no, he's not doing very, very good. He's doing absolutely terrible, you know. We expect better from Wesley, but he's not performing on and off the pitch. He's just not doing it at the moment. I mean, Douglas Louise, he's a good player. He's very good. I thought he played very well yesterday, you know. But our performance on the pitch was very, 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 very slim, you know. When I, when we went into the game, I wasn't feeling very, very confident. You know, we're Aston Villa, you know, we, I expected better from us. But no, Jamie Vardy, he's a good player for Leicester. You know, Ian Acho, Johnny Evans, they, you know, they're good players, you know. But Jamie Vardy, when he, when he, when he, when he gets going for Leicester, he's unstoppable. You know, it was very, very hard for us to stop him. And, you know, you know, it's very hard to stop Jamie Vardy from scoring goals, you know. And, you know, we should have uh, performed better, but we never did. You know, when the first two goals went in, for, when the first two goals went in, we were struggling. You know, this is the Premier League. Y yeah, you meant you, you you meant to struggle sometimes, but you need you need to win games. You know. I mean, I was happy with our performance against Manchester United. You know, we drew two two, but we should have come out win with the win, but we never did. You know, but our performance on on Wednesday. You know, our performance on Wednesday. Yeah, we, we we put up a fight, but we 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 still lost Chelsea two one. But you know, you don't expect to go to Stamford Bridge and score a goal. You don't expect that from from teams like you know. We didn't expect to score, but we did. And I was I was happy with our performance against Chelsea. You know, we put up a fight, but we lost. But you know, it's the Premier League. You know, it's an hard league to uh, go in and. You know, I mean, hopefully we get a result against Sheffield United on Saturday, but you never know. You never know, this is the Premier League, this is the Premier League, this is the top, top flight football in in England. You know, it's, it's one of the biggest leagues in football and, you know, you know, we expect to do better and if we get the result or we lose, then we move on to the next game and move forward, you know, and, you know, I'm hoping that we, in the next upcoming games, we get three points, or we get a draw, or, or whatever, you know what I mean, I mean, we need a new striker in January, we can't rely on Wesley, he's, or play a different striker and let Wesley fight for his place in the Villa, but, if we are going to be playing with this, with, with, with this, £22 million striker, then play Kodja, play Kodja, you know, I mean, Kodja may not be very good, but at least he'll try, that's all, we, that's all we've got to do, that's all Dean Smith needs to do, is let Kodja play, you know, and let Wesley fight for his place, but, you know, this is the Premier League, and we, you know, why do you want to play a 22 million strike when he's not scoring goals? You know, this is just terrible. It's literally terrible. We're not going to get results if we're playing a 22 million pound striker and he's not scoring goals for us, you know what I mean? And you know, it's just unbelievable. He's not scoring goals. Wesley is not scoring goals. I mean, yeah, he may not be used to the Premier League yet, but at least try and score a few goals. I mean, score three, four goals, that is bad for a striker at his, at his extent, you know. He, he was banging him in left, right and centre for, for Club Bruges. Yeah, it may be a different league, but you expect a £22 million striker to score the goals, you know. But... If you enjoy these type of videos that 
I'm gonna bring out, you know, for um, reviews like this, then smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.